I think I just need a break. I mean, I don't want to break up, but I just need a little bit of space. No, it's not you, it's me. I mean, sure, we've had fun together in the past, but I think we're just, I think we're just growing apart and I, I don't know what to do anymore. I just, I'm not having fun anymore. Hey guys, today I want to talk about reading slumps. I have been in one recently and I just can't get out of it. And I started to look to booktube for tips and tricks to get out of this reading slump. And then I kind of thought about it and I was like, is it really something that needs to be fixed? Is it really something that there's even a treatment for? Um, it kind of sounds like an ailment, but it's not. I think personally that it's something that just needs to um, kind of run out of your system in a sense. Wow, this is turning into a metaphor for an illness, but um, but you know what I mean? Like it's just something that you can't really force yourself to read because reading is supposed to be enjoyable and fun. And when you try to force yourself to read, it doesn't become fun anymore. So that's what I'm talking about today. And I hope that you guys have some input on this topic too. <music> 2014 started off with a bang. I read eight books in January and eight books in February and I was doing great. And then March came along and I didn't read anything so far. It's already halfway through the month and I haven't read a single book or I haven't finished a single book, I should say. So when I went to booktube to look for tips, I saw some people said that you should pick up one of your favorite reads and reread it. So I picked up Can You Keep a Secret by Sophie Kinsella. Um, it was just so fun and light and fluffy and funny. And I was enjoying it, but I just, I got like a third of the way through and I just couldn't do it anymore. I started skimming pages and I was like, that's when you know it's time to put the book down. So I put that down and then I picked up an ebook because I thought maybe the format of an ebook usually I read faster on those. So I picked that up. Again, I only got a few pages in and I was like, I just, I don't feel like reading this. So I put it down and I thought maybe I could listen to an audiobook because you don't really have to do much that you just have to listen. And I got Scarlet out on um, audiobooks. So I've been listening to that, but again, it's not really holding my interest. I'm not really sure why. Um, so I kind of stopped listening to that. I went to the mall and I saw that they had Jennifer Armentrout's new book, White Hot Kiss. So I picked that up because I was so excited and I know somebody on booktube said to pick up a book that you're really excited about um, to get back into reading. I don't know, I got probably like, not even a third. I think I was honestly only like 70 pages in and I was just like, I can't read right now and I put it down. And I didn't read for three weeks. Reading is like part of my identity so when I don't read, I don't feel like myself. I feel weird. Um, and I think there was a lot of stuff going on in my personal life. I was having like so much stress on me all at once and I just feel like like reading and booktubing and all that became kind of like a chore and kind of like another source of stress in my life. So I kind of just blocked it out. Like I feel like when I have lots of stress and lots of problems, I just kind of try to push stuff to the back of my mind and don't think about it. And like maybe if I don't think about it, it'll go away and then it doesn't. You notice I wasn't really like commenting or I wasn't really on Twitter very much. Um, that's why I just, I wasn't like in the mood for it. Um, which I think, oh, that's like not really a bad thing, but with YouTube, you have to put up content often or your subscribers are gonna think that you disappeared. When I go to do my wrap up for March, it's gonna be like, well, I read one book, you know, and that's nobody wants to watch that. So I think that in that respect, a reading slump is bad, but for your mental health and for the sake of reading being fun, I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. So once I kind of realized that a reading slump isn't something that needs to be fixed, um, I just kind of went with the flow and I just did whatever I felt like doing, which turned out to mostly be watching that show Dance Academy. It's the show that um, Book Booth F. Lindsay got me hooked on. Like, I seriously think I have an addiction to this show. I can't stop watching it. It's um, this Australian show about a boarding school that trains professional dancers. Mostly been watching that. And then today, this is probably like week three of my uh, reading slump, I just randomly decided to pick up White Hot Kiss again and I am instantly hooked into the story and I can't put it down. I'm probably gonna go read some more of it and maybe finish it today. It's like how they say everything in moderation in a diet. And I think that that goes with reading too. Like if you just pig out on all your favorite books and just keep reading so much, so much, eventually you're just gonna get bored of it and you're not gonna be able to take it anymore and you're just gonna be like, I need a break from that. Um, because if you eat, you know, sugar, if you just eat candy for four days straight, by the fifth day you're probably gonna be like, all right, I'm craving a carrot or something, you know? Like it's, it's just not possible to read all the time and I think that I finally come to terms with that and accepted that and I'm okay with it now. There's gonna be months where I don't read. 
want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about reading slumps? Are they something that you feel like you need to get out of once you're in one? And what is like some stuff that you have done to try to get out of one? Because I think I've tried everything and I just I'm curious to see what you guys have tried in the past. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.